So some of the specifics on this UX line uh, include things like uh, 20,000 layers of <laughs> lasers uh, in the backlight with over 5,000 dimmable zones. Uh, that will be, there are also 16-bit uh, uh, backlight processing, uh, 2,500 nits uh, peak luminance. They didn't specify the window that would be in. Uh, 150,000 to 1 contrast ratio. They've also added a, a nice low reflection screen to this. Uh, they didn't specify the reflectivity. Uh, and they've also um, increased the viewing angles. This is a VA panel, and they've widened the viewing angle by 30%. So if you go uh, to the side and, and compare the colors, they've done actually a very nice job of maintaining that. Some additional uh, uh, features here is the sound system. It's a seven speaker system. They've got uh, two front, two top kind of side firing ones, uh, two in the back that are back firing and a subwoofer in the back. Uh, this will be a bit, it's a, uh, about 99% of the P3 color gamut. Uh, but only, and, and has an ATSC 3.0 uh, uh, tuner in as well. Only the 85-inch model will be offered in the U.S. right now, and pricing is uh, still to be determined. So let's move on to their other products. Uh, stepping down to their uh, U8 line, uh, they have, uh, uh, they're very proud of this one, 50 awards, they say. Uh, and for 23, they've uh, actually doubled the number of dimming zones in this, uh, going now to over a thousand dimming zones. Uh, they've also increased the refresh rate to 144 hertz, um, and the uh, the sound system is 2.1.2. Uh, a new is an ATSC 3.0 tuner, a low the low reflection screen. Uh, 1,500 nits, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, 10 plus, 97% of P3 color gamut, and available in 55, 65, 75, and 85. 85 inches now available across four series of them. Take a look at the U7 line. Uh, Hisense calls their U7 line more of a gamer's line. Uh, kind of in between. It's a bit of a step down from uh, the, U, the U8 line, but nonetheless, they still uh, doubled the number of zones. From, they added many LED backlights to this uh, in the 23 line. They've gone to a, a, a 144 hertz. They doubled the number of zones to 500. Uh, it's now uh, and increased the luminance to 1,000 nits. Uh, so the uh, 10-bit processing, quantum dots, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, ATSC 3.0 tuner, 55, 65, 75, 85 inch. Uh, so the big difference between uh, the U8 and the U7 really is they have a little bit of a drop down in the number of zones and a drop down in the number of nits. If you go to the U6 line, they've also added mini LEDs to that too. Uh, so that's uh, they now have mini LEDs across all four of these lines here. That's a big addition. Uh, number of zones has gone from 48 to over 200 plus. Uh, same number of screen sizes plus a 55 inch uh, quantum dot Dolby Vision Dolby Atmos, um, and no Wi-Fi 6E. The other products also have five uh, Wi-Fi 6E, uh, but this is kind of nice because you'll be able to theoretically get a mini LED quantum dot display at 50 inches for less than $500. And over here, they kind of have a nice uh, wall where you can see uh, the, the U8, 7, and 6 kind of all together with similar images to show the differences in, in brightness and dimming zones. That's the story of TVs here from Hisense, Chris Chenock.